have it, Gain Structure 101. Pressing on, we have the Phase Reverse button. Pushing this button in switches pins 2 and 3, or the positive and negative poles of the incoming signal, thus switching the phase. Hmm, phase, more fizzy. Well, alrighty then, let's do the 10 cent tour on phase. Earlier, we learned a little something about how sound is generated. Now, it's time to learn a little something about what happens when sound meets sound. Phase cancellation happens when two microphones hear the same source. And the distance between the mics doesn't follow the 3 to 1 rule. To minimize this cancellation, separate the mics by at least three times the mic to source distance. So, as a small demo, I've placed two identical microphones in front of this monitor. Listen to how the sound changes as I move one of the mics. If we could see sound, it would look like this. This is one complete cycle of sound. We call this a sine wave. Here we have the amplitude, or volume, and this represents time. Now these two sine waves are in phase with each other, and when these two sine waves meet, the result is this new wave. It has twice the amplitude, or volume, of the two waves by themselves. These two have a phase relationship that is 180 degrees out of phase. As you can see, they are exactly opposite of each other. Now, when these two waves meet, the result is much different. The new sine wave that's created has an amplitude of zero, meaning this frequency cannot be heard. This is known as phase cancellation. The two will cancel each other out. So, what does this mean for you, the engineer? Well, phase cancellation results in a loss of some frequency. And remember, that was only one frequency. And as we know, there are almost 20,000 frequencies audible. So phase cancellation can be happening to hundreds or even thousands of frequencies at the same time. Let's take another listen to phase cancellation and how it affects sound. You just heard phase cancellation again. Now listen to what happens when one microphone is flipped out of phase. Now I wish I could give you a list of times when to use the phase button, but unfortunately there are too many variables involved. So all I can say is, if you're having trouble with feedback on a particular mic, try hitting the phase button. If you're using two microphones in close proximity and something sounds kind of funky, try hitting the phase button. But there's a lot more to phase where this came from, so do some homework. Research the 3 to 1 rule. That's what I just showed you here.